on a Monday morning. Yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Good morning to you. We welcome you in. Yes, as Randy said, Monday, not only that, the first day of June. We welcome you into Fox 2 News at 5.30. It's not possible. It's just so weird. <laughs> no. All of it's so weird. All right, but at least we still have uh, some great weather to talk mm. about. Finally, that sunshine came around, Chris. It did, and it, man, it made for a beautiful weekend. Temperatures Saturday and Sunday, lots of sunshine. The blue skies, oh my goodness, the blue skies. And we have more of the same on the way today, although there'll be a few more clouds around, especially this morning than what we had over the weekend. Right now we're looking at a beautiful morning temperature 63 degrees. The summer feels slowly taking control over the next couple of days with above normal temperatures and increasing humidity. I am tracking the next weather front. It looks like it rolls in late Wednesday into Wednesday night, bringing a risk of storms and maybe even some strong storms. So we'll need to keep an eye on that. Lots to talk about in the extended forecast and we'll have it for you in a few minutes. And this morning, we have some new lane closures that are getting underway. They just started at 5 o'clock, and this is going to continue for the next two weeks. So if you travel into downtown, you come in from the Missouri side, uh, there's going to be a lane closed on 6440 eastbound. That is between 14th Street and the 6th Street ramp. So that's going to be for the next two weeks, 5 a.m. until 1.30 each afternoon. Thank you, Molly. Unrest following the death of George Floyd while in police custody in Minneapolis spills over into the streets across our country. Fox 2's Catherine Hessel is live in Clayton this morning with more on how the demonstrations here took a turn last night. Catherine. Well, so far we've seen protests in Clayton, in downtown St. Louis and in Ferguson, and a lot of those have been peaceful gatherings of solidarity. But oftentimes we see that when the sun goes down, things do turn violent. And that happened in Ferguson last night. Ferguson Mayor James Knoll was forced to impose an 8 o'clock curfew for the area last night. After 9 o'clock, protesters were still gathered near the police department. Now some threw items at officers. One officer was hit by a rock. Police declared the gathering an unlawful assembly and officers ordered the group to leave. Around 9.30, someone threw a large firework at officers, injuring one officer. That's when officers then used tear gas to disperse the crowd. Police say there were also shots fired at officers, a police vehicle, and some buildings were damaged, and officers made six arrests last night in Ferguson. Now, also last night, 60 to 70 protesters showed up at the Galleria Mall. According to social media accounts, some were protesting in memory of Terry Tillman. He's a 23-year-old shot and killed by an officer in 2019. Now, officers blocked off access to stores at the Galleria. They also closed I-170 from Highway 40 to Ladue. Our partners at the Post's Batch report that some in the crowd threw fireworks at police. Windows were broken out at one business along Brentwood Boulevard, and police made at least three arrests at the Galleria last night. Now, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we have been hearing from County Executive Sam Page, and he's actually been giving us COVID-19 updates and press briefings. Well, today he will go forward with that press briefing, but before he talks about the virus, he's first going to address the protests that we've been seeing in our area. Reporting live in Clayton, I'm Catherine Hessel.